you are watching So Mungry's Soundwave Sunday. Operation Question and Answer Initiate. Booyah! Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is So Mungry, and I'd like to welcome you all to another Soundwave Sunday! And I got some general announcements before we jump into the questions. There are lots of questions to get to. All the questions were really, really good. I tried to limit them a little bit and I narrowed them down to about 16, actually probably about 13 actual questions. Some are just uh, about a question that I answered last week. Anyways, I want to talk about some general announcements. First, I will be not making any more videos for the month of January. Instead, I will be doing some live streams for Transformers Universe. Hopefully every day, but I'm not sure if I can do that every day. But I'm going to attempt to do that every day. And I also wanted to take a break from making videos. I usually take a break every once in a while. And I was thinking about this break for a while, which means it's time that I take a break because I'm getting worn out or burnt out on making videos. So I wanted to do some live streams and then after that I might jump into a short break depending on how I feel. And then after that, if everything goes as planned, I will start working on my new project, my new Let's Play but I don't really know when that will come. So I'll have to play it by ear. There will be videos in between there for you guys. So don't worry about that. But for the rest of this month, I'm just going to be doing the live streams for Transformers Universe. You can follow me at twitch.tv backslash mungry. Also, if you want more videos of mine, you can check out my co-op channel, Bro Bras. And this will also give some of you guys time to go back and watch some of my previous playthroughs go check out my playlists i got them all organized all nice and fancy like for you check them out and maybe you can find something that you'd like to check out from me from the past oh yeah so that's pretty much it for the general announcements i believe if i miss something i will make a separate video for it later on kind of just like a one to two minute video but as of right now this will probably be the last video for this month Alright, before we jump into the questions, last week I answered a question on what I would rename the Autobots and the Decepticons. And Dragonzilla, I appreciate your creativity and everything, but I'm just going to show the questions that answered it like I did. So, I really, really do appreciate your creativity on your answer and your extremely long paragraph to answer. You're well thought out, so if you guys want to check that out, check it out. It's on last week's Soundwave Sunday. Anyways... Our first question comes from Erosion271. I would name the Autobots the Erosion Squad and the Decepticons the Chicken Dinner Unit. Who wouldn't? Who doesn't love chicken? I love chicken. I love dipping it in ranch. I love eating it in the bathtub. I love taking it out on the town and dancing with it all night long. Our next question comes from the Skulls of Goodness. Hey Mungry, would you consider doing a Let's Play of War for Cybertron again? Instead of describing the characters, just focusing on the actual campaign. No, I'm not going to repeat campaigns. I said that to myself strongly. I even wrote it in my journal at night. And the reason I'm not going to repeat campaigns is there's too many video games to play out there and there's not enough time. So I want to experience more games, good or bad. But I don't want to have to repeat games, especially with recording, editing, and uploading. That stuff takes time and it's a lot of work. So, no, I will not be repeating any campaigns that I've done before in the past. Our next question comes from Swedish Seacon. Mungry, do you have any favorite Super Mario character? Mario Sunday 127. Yes, I like Iggy. I think he's goofy, he's hilarious, his eyes are great, and his hair looks like the top of a carrot. So, I think that's funny. Our next question comes from Kurt Gendero. Hey Mungry, are you going to do any other Mega Man games? Soundwave Sunday at 127. Yes, I am going to. I play a lot of Mega Man X4, but that doesn't mean I'm going to make that one the next one or ever do that one, but I do play a lot of Mega Man X4 in my free time. Our next question comes from Element Dragon Link. Mungry, did you see the trailer for the new Conquest map in Smite? If you did, what are your thoughts? Soundwave Sunday... And it looks awesome. Looks amazing. And I'm guessing a lot of people's computers cannot handle it. They got one side like all lava y, the other side beach, and then the middle's like an in between. And they brought down 
like the buildings and everything kind of into the map they made a whole bunch of cool changes it's hard for me to describe you just have to see it the buffs are more interactive the like the gold fury flies in the fire giant breaks out of a treasure chest it, it's pretty sweet so i recommend checking that out if you're a smite fan our next question comes from thanks brah i might start playing trabs formers too i hope to grow like you do you have any tips and here's a tip for everybody that is starting a YouTube channel. Find a niche and go with it. Do not, I repeat, do not play mainstream games. There is just a plethora of mainstream games out there. You will not be found unless you're like crazy unique about it. I, I don't even know how you'd be unique about it, but if you if you are, then you might have a chance. But the only way to like get into gaming nowadays is if you are like one of the only people that post on a certain game and there's a following on it. I kid you not. That is my number one tip. Number one tip. It is virtually impossible. There's everybody and their brothers does YouTube these days. So you cannot do like super popular games and stuff. Even slightly popular games. You have to like try to find something that separates you from the crowd. Our next question comes from Speedstar235. So I'm hungry. With TFU's door soon to close for good, which Autobots and Decepticons from the game will you miss the most? And who do you wish to return in future media regardless of chance? Comics, games, shows, etc. To all are one. Soundwave Sunday, 127. Sparkscape. I think he's cool. He's got the flamethrower, he's got the vapor gun. One of my personal favorites. From the Decepticon side, hmm, that's a little bit tougher. I would maybe say, I'm gonna say Dead Heat. I feel like he kind of fits in a little bit. He's got some cool abilities and he's got a cool looking car. He's he's deadly, you know, he's, he's got the name too, Dead Heat, it's cool. So I'm gonna go with those two possibly showing up. But I don't know if we'll see any, in all honesty. Our next question comes from Ratchet21. Hey Mungry, thanks for your advice. You have given me from the last week. You're welcome. Have you played a Final Fantasy game in the past? Yes, I have played many, many, many Final Fantasy games. If so, have you ever considered doing one Let's Play from the series? For example, Final Fantasy VII. If not, that's okay. There are a lot of games I'm still looking around for the experience. Grimlock Sunday 127. Here's the deal with Final Fantasy games and RPGs. They are long. So you have to have subscribers that are willing to watch that for a long, long time. And honestly, I don't think my subscribers, most of you guys, would do that. So that's the reason I haven't done like an RPG. I'm looking at playing Child of Light for myself because I wanted to play that. I'm actually a pretty big RPG fan. And if I would ever do a Final Fantasy game, I would want to do Final Fantasy 4, or I believe it's 6 in Japan? I, I don't know, the numbers are all weird with Final Fantasy. It's the one with the famous opera scene, and also, like, Kane and Cecil. So, like, that's considered the best RPG of all time as well, so I would probably do that one. It's for the Super Nintendo, but I don't know if I want to commit to something like that. And then do like 90 to 100, maybe even more videos. And then only like a couple hundred people watching it. Because YouTube is my job after all. And I just like can't afford to do all that time with that little amount of views. Our next question comes from Necromaster2077. Dear Mungry, do you think High Moon Studios will eventually make another TF game? And if so, would you play it? Soundwave Sunday, 127. P.S. Fingers crossed for a G1 game. I don't think we're going to see a G1 game. They do not like going back to the past. And rightly so, they got to look towards the future. And I don't know if we'll see one from High Moon. Like, High Moon's a different company now. You guys got to realize High Moon is a totally different company than it was during War and Fall. They, I guess, released a whole bunch of employees or fired, I guess. And... They don't have the same people there, probably. I don't know if they do or do not. I'm sure some are still the same, but a lot of people have moved on from that company ever since the release. Also, they did commit a lot of time to 
the last Call of Duty, so there's probably different people working on that. So it would probably be a completely different game than what we would expect from them. But I would play it regardless. I would play probably any Transformers games. I know you guys want to see me play them, so I would definitely play them. Our next question comes from Aphen TX. My computer isn't informing me of your live streams. What should I do? I would try on following me and then refollowing me and then like click in the notification if you want the email. Also, I would name the Autobots Sentient Sentries and the Decepticons Big Bad Bots. Soundwave Sunday 127. Nice breath. Next. And our next question comes from Wheeljack Smith. Autobots, Liberators, Decepticons, Destroyers. And we're getting to the point in the questions where if you wrote down a suggestion, I'm going to read it out loud for what I couldn't think of for good names for the Autobots and the Decepticons. Good alternate names if they didn't have those names. Our next question comes from Malchi Punch. What's your favorite color? Green and gold, baby. It's one color. It's the color that I bleed. Go Pack Go! Our next question comes from Jack70Gaming. Bots, sandwiches, cons, burgers. Our next question comes from Flying J7. They would be called Robobots and Batacons. Our next question comes from Big C6600. Hey, Mungry. What was your favorite game when you were little? So I'm with Sunday 127. And me right now would say The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Because that is my favorite game of all time. But when I was little, I would probably say Gradius 3. Because I would sneak down and like play that game non-stop when I was little. I loved that game. And our last question with 13 thumbs ups comes from Energon HD Gaming. Hey Mungry, hope you see this in time before you start editing. I know I mentioned this a lot, but I think you misunderstood me a little bit. I think you should host a 6v6 War for Cybertron, Fall Cybertron, private lobby with subscribers. I personally love playing with you back in the day. Thumbs up if you think Mungry should do this. Okay, I'm going to be brutally honest about this question. I don't really have any desire to go back and play those games anymore. I haven't played them for a long time, so if I were to go back and play them, I would be absolutely terrible, and that wouldn't be fun for me. Also, there are like hackers and cheaters up the wazoo in both those games. So chances are, if they found out that I was hosting a private lobby, they would just join it. Because the lobbies aren't truly private. If there's a hacker or a cheater on someone's friends list, they can just join, come in, and it would ruin the whole experience. And thirdly, if online multiplayer competitive games do not update their content over time people lose interest in them those games are old there's been no updates for a long time there's not many people playing those games anymore you have to move on eventually you have to just move on with your life but that's not to say I wouldn't go back and experience it with some friends or subscribers and lastly this is the big one I've been asking for your guys support to help me expand my channel and I feel like I make good content regardless of what game I play but I just don't get any thumbs ups or as many thumbs ups on my non Transformers related content. If I got more thumbs ups and more views on that I would be less focused on having to put up more content to trying to expand my channel and my audience. If you guys would just support me more on doing that stuff I would be less worried about putting out more and more videos to try and get the expansion going. If you would just help me grow the channel like I've been asking, it only takes like two seconds to leave like a thumbs up or a favorite on a video, but yet when I post a video of something that isn't Transformers related, like let's see here, if I just look at my channel just briefly, I'll compare episode 16, Transformers Dark in the Moon to Mega Man part 16. I got 153 thumbs ups and 4,000 views on Transformers Dark of the Moon Part 16. And on Mega Man, I only have 23 thumbs ups and 540 views. And it only takes like two seconds to click, even if you don't like the game. I, I say close your eyes and listen to the content. That's how I feel. If you were to listen to the Mega Man content versus the Transformers content, in my opinion, the Mega Man is 10 times, maybe 100 times better it's it's funny it's got me and Eric in it which makes for better conversation so it's just better overall listening and that may be just my opinion 
And I'm going to keep trying to expand my channel. I'm going to keep bringing out different games. And I just ask for your support. If you give me more support on that stuff, I don't have to worry so much about putting out more and more content all the time. And I can step back, breathe a little bit, and maybe do some like fun things like an open lobby in one of those games and stuff like that. But because YouTube is my job, I have to focus on making videos. But if each and every video is as successful as Transformers Dark of the Moon Part 16, I can breathe a little bit. I can step back and I can do those fun things with you guys. And it only takes like two seconds out of your day to click on that and leave like a thumbs up, even if you're not going to watch the whole thing. That's all I ask. That's all I ask of you guys to support me and let me keep making videos for you guys because... If I don't have variety on my channel, I would definitely just quit YouTube, in all honesty. I would go insane, and i quit YouTube, and i just get a different job. I wouldn't probably like my other job, but I can't do the same thing over and over as far as, like, games on my channel. And that's just being real and being honest with you guys. And I appreciate all the support you guys give me. I love you guys. You're the only reason I'm in the situation that I'm in today, and I'm super grateful for that. But I'm just asking you to help me support my other projects, non-Transformers related. Help me grow on those and to help me keep my sanity. That's it. That's all. Anyways, done with the preaching. I hope you guys all enjoyed this Soundwave Sunday. Remember to check out my live streams and my co-op channel. All that would help me tremendously. The links are in the description below. And... This will be the last video for the month of January. So, leave your questions in the comments below for next time Soundwave Sunday appears. And have a great, grand, beautiful, wonderful Soundwave Sunday, everyone.